flat days for Ireland. But for multinationals like Hewlett Packard, with 4,000 employees here, it remains a great place to be. A young, educated workforce, access to the single European market, and, perhaps most importantly, a corporation tax rate of 12.5%. Raising this, says the head of its Irish operations, could have serious consequences. It is very clear. If the tax rate increased, we would be re-looking at our investments in Ireland. Uh, because I think one of the key reasons we came to Ireland was for the 12.5% tax rate. And we believe that should stand as part of this negotiation. He's not alone. Ireland's 12.5% corporate tax rate is the lowest in the euro area. In the EU as a whole, only Bulgaria and Cyprus are lower. It's around a third of that in Germany, France and the UK, helping attract so much foreign investment that multinationals account for a fifth of Ireland's GDP. Ireland's finance minister, he's the one on the right, says the corporate tax rate is a red line the country will not cross. But the German government says raising this tax rate may be the price Ireland must pay for a bailout. The corporation tax rate is sacrosanct. That was uh, written into the uh, post-Lisbon Treaty Agreement and the very fact that it should have been raised by Germany and France points to some element of, I won't call it bad faith, but um, significant pressure on the Irish authorities. The CT rate is hugely important for American and other companies in Ireland and it is a deal breaker. Ultimately, it may come down to who blinks first. Ireland, which runs the risk of a banking meltdown and sovereign default, or the troika of EU, IMF and European Central Bank, which is concerned that the crisis could spread. Elliot Gotkin, Bloomberg, Dublin.